Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I'll explain volumes option in CATIA V5 generative shape design. See here you can see different options in volumes toolbar. With these options, we can see 3D features in surface modeling itself. See to add solid to the surface we go to part and we use surface based feature options in part design see start mechanical design part design here we use these options instead of using these options to create a 3d feature in part we can do that in generative shape design itself by using these options volumes options for this first here we have a volume extrude in this see profile option we have to select a profile see what i do is i go to sketch i select plane go to sketch i just take an open profile Let me see, can we apply extrude volume option for this open profile? See, here we have to select only a profile option here. Then when I select this spline, so you can see the error invalid profile. Thus, we can't select an open profile. Either it should be a closed profile or we need to select the already existing surface see i go for ok i cancel this i double click on this i close this profile i again select a spline now the profile has been closed then I exit sketch now we can directly use this volume extruder for a closer profile see here give some dimension means height I give 50 mm height now you can see a 3d feature in generative shape design itself see here or we can also select a surface to use this option see i select this plane i go to sketch any either spline or arc whatever as they can directly use this option for an open profile so first i use this extrude option to this profile this extrude used to generate a surface for the profile not volume not a solid but here see this volume extrude we can also select a surface and here we need to give direction right click on that see z direction i go for z see here you can give height i give some 20 mm you can see the volume in generative shape design itself so for these options a volume extrude we can either select a closed profile or an existing surface in the same way volume revolve i go to new file i create a curve using spline now here i go for volume extrude volume revolve see i select volume revolve here it is asking to select a profile so i select the closure profile but it see revolution axis right click or directly you can select this i select this vertical axis see here we can't select an open profile or we need to select a 
surface see for that i use this extrude option so that it generates surface now i go for revolve volume revolve now i can select a surface see here then revolution axis i select this then here angle i give 360 degrees here we get a revolve a feature by selecting the surface or we can also select a closer profile see i select plane i go to sketch Like this I create a closure profile and also I created an axis then go to revolve volume revolve select this profile closure profile we get a volume these 3d features here we can generate in a surface modeling but it is not actually 3d uh, solids see when you take when you get into uh, mechanical design part we can't use this as a solid C here you can see all options in dresser features have been checked out because it is not considering as a solid see we can't apply fillets or we can't make a hole or a pocket on this feature even though it looks like a 3d solids but we can't use this in a part design so this is the volume options, uh, two options uh, and the remaining options I explain in the next class. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, share and subscribe Imperial CAT system.